So the incidence rate of all EBV associated tumors is around 200,000 um, worldwide. Um, it is sort of the most common human tumor virus, so around 20% of, um, of all uh, tumors are estimated to be caused by infectious disease agents and around 10% of these 20% are um, by Epstein-Barr virus. Yeah, the first time I used Miltini products was actually uh, uh, 96 uh, when I did my PhD and we used kits to isolate natural killer cells uh, for experiments. We were particularly interested in a non-classical MHC class 1 molecule, ACLG, which seems to mediate tolerance against NK cell recognition at the fetal maternal interface. Um, and then um, from that, uh, during my postdoc, I used um, primarily CD14 beads, so beads to isolate monocytes to then derived dendritic cells, um, which was then done in New York at the Rockefeller University. So we isolated these monocytes and then derived monocyte-derived TCs to stimulate mostly Epstein-Barr virus specific immune responses already at that time. Currently we're collaborating with Miltini um, for our vaccination strategy against Epstein-Barr virus. Um, so we tested uh, initially a vaccination strategy which was based on targeting a particular EBV antigen to dendritic cells to elicit efficiently T-cell responses that could mediate immune control. And uh, the initial receptor that we used uh, to target these is uh, called DEC205. Um, elicits, unfortunately, only CD4 T-cell responses, which are important in the cell-mediated immune control, but probably cannot mediate it exclusively. Um, in our search for additional reagents to elicit CD8 T-cell responses in addition, we started collaborating with uh, Miltini um, um, and used basically a panel of uh, their antibodies that they had derived against dendritic cell receptors over the years. Um, um, and wanted to see if targeting of these receptors in addition to DEC205 would give us also CD8 T cell responses. Yeah, I guess, you know, the, the near future, um, even though I'm not sure that our particular vaccine will bring it, um, but since EBV vaccination is now sort of a little bit in the focus of, of multiple institutions, uh, a near uh, future benefit could be that maybe infectious mononucleosis could be eradicated. And um, usually, at least in Europe and the US, around 20 to 30 percent of individuals are still uh, EBV negative past the age of uh, 10. And of those, another third, or in some regions even um, half of this population, develops infectious mononucleosis. Um, so if you could basically prime a T-cell response prior to primary infection, uh, then we might get rid of that entirely. In the long term, hopefully, that would also benefit or decrease the numbers of EBV-associated tumors. Um, but we have to see if when a general uh, vaccination occurs, if that is actually holding up. I would like to congratulate you uh, on the success of your company and for the 25th year anniversary of Miltini Biotech uh, and wish you all the best for the future and hope obviously that uh, Miltini will continue collaborating with us and uh, develop uh, vaccination strategies based on antibodies.